Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Welcome to the 8th video in this ongoing series called Is This Pistol Still Relevant? We've done this 8 times. Well, this is the 8th one and I hope that this one that I feature today will generate as much attention as the last one because I get a ton of comments and I appreciate each and every one. So last week we featured the standard manufacturing S. 333 Thunderstruck. This is a Gen 3 model with the longer barrels. The original had the barrels end right there, so they go two and a quarter inches. It's an eight shot, double trigger, double barrel revolver chambered in 22 Magnum. And the concept here is one trigger pull, two shots of 22 Magnum. And it got a ton of comments. People said, Relevant? No, it never was relevant. Many people said it's a novelty gun, and if you're into novelty guns, then that would be a good one, but it's not for me. Or people said, kind of cool, wouldn't mind having it, but I'm not going to run out after it to have a novelty gun. So that, that was the feedback. Not the most accurate revolver, but it is fun, and I'm kind of into novelty guns. I like things that are different. But this one should generate a lot of thoughts because it's currently discontinued by this manufacturer. It's available with others, different model numbers, but this is the Springfield Armory 911. Now when they originally released it, it was only chambered in 380, but then they came out with the 911 9mm and it was right around $580, which is far less than the Sig P938 and way less than the Kimber Micro 9. That's a, that's a little bit larger. But the 911, it's known as a great pocket carry gun. It comes with a seven round mag and a flat base plate six round magazine. It's single action only. I believe Springfield went into competition with SIG with the P938 because the mags work with each other. It has a three inch barrel. It is single action. I think I showed clear there. It is single action and it's a pretty nice shooter with the 1911 like controls. G10 grips, aluminum frame, three inch barrel, night sights standard ambidextrous thumb safety which is how this is meant to be carried cocked and locked it has a trigger pull that is a bit heavier and I have noticed that many pocket guns have heavier trigger pulls because the manufacturer recognizes these will probably be carried in the pocket and that actually serves as a safety but when I shot this on many occasions I was pleasantly surprised at how accurate this thing is especially with that short light trigger kind of light a little heavier than a 1911 but a very short reset and it's it's a nice handgun it really is but is it still relevant today well Springfield didn't think it was very relevant they discontinued it as well as the 380 model and SIG still has the P938, but those go well over $700. They even have a Legion model with the 938, and those are expensive. The Kimber Micro 9s go right between MSRP 950 and over a grand. This was selling for 580 at a time, and they're discontinued. And the people who had these, at least the feedback I've gotten was that, hey, that thing is really nice for a little aluminum frame, lightweight, single action pistol that could be pocket carried. And Springfield also included a pocket holster with it. So it had many advantages, but what I'm wondering, is it still relevant today for 580? What else could you get that may serve your purposes more than the 911? You know, I know there are are a lot out there but why did they discontinue it was it was it not selling was it too expensive to get the parts was the additional parts that include the 1911 light controls a little overwhelming for for what they were getting for it i i don't know but it's it's always a mystery to me when 
certain handguns seem so popular and all of a sudden they're discontinued. But they have their reasons and they have their inside analytics. But what do you think? Do you think the Springfield 911 or the 938 or even the Kimber Micro 9 is relevant today considering that it is a single stack, seven round magazine right here and it is single action i have a lot of people actually tell me that they want hammer fire guns they're not into striker fire guns and this is a hammer fire gun nice g10 grips i think it's good looking i like the angle cuts with the rear slide serrations the night sight the overall fit feel and finish is very nice and it's extremely light with that aluminum frame so i i like the handgun i think it's relevant but i don't know if you think it's relevant considering the price and how many more options are out in this gloryful world of guns it's the a great time to become a gun fan because there are just so many options and they keep developing daily i'm interested to know your thoughts i look forward to your feedback if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.